shut the fuck up. To Michelle Halloween podcast. I'm already having a good fucking time partying with one of my favorite, favorite party people, Robbie, aka Error 1984. Thank you for coming on my fucking podcast where three people watch. It's about time. I mean, we never even meet each other, and it takes this long to even show up. So. Not my fault, by the way. <laughs> You're that- super Mr. Pin Busy Man doing your amazing. I try. Work. I like, try. and then I brought my bitch with me, so. <laughs> How do we look together? Well, you're really sexy, so that thing is <laughs> fucking amazing. So, Thank and you. Then, this is why you're one of my favorite friends. He throws compliments at me. Congratulations on everything that you're doing. You know I'm super proud of you, and I love this Miss Cleo setup. It's like, call me now, please. You know, this is freaking amazing. I love please it. say what you said when you were like, do I have the right house when you pulled up today? You've been here before. <laughs> All right, so I, par- I parked my car, and I'm like, is this the right? Every fucking house looks the same. I hate it here. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. So I look, and I saw the cameras. And the lights, I'm like, they're either shooting porn or this is Michelle's house. <laughs> One of the two, so. Could be both. Yeah, it could be both and shit. I'm just like, Chuck is ready to fuck. <laughs> I'm probably, you already know. <laughs> we have so many stories. We'll get into the Chuck. Hello, my name is Chuck and I like to fuck. And mm-hmm. we also got to talk about, uh, we come for your daughter. Oh my and goodness. we have so many fucking oh stories. Goodness, Again, yeah. one of my favorite, favorite people to party with. Yeah. Uh, whore fanatic. So, yeah. but on that note, let's talk about the very important stuff first. What's up? Air 1984. When I met you in 2016, you were just a working Joe. Here it is 2020, and all of a sudden, you're just too busy for even me. Um, you know, Error. Error was start. You know, I collect the pins for so uh, for a while now, and then what started is was uh, Comic Con 2012. Uh, we went to Comic-Con 2012 in San Diego mm-hmm. and we met this awesome, awesome pin vendor uh, named London 1888. Yes! I'm, I'm okay. Glad, you know, I'm glad I worked with him. And he was just amazing. He showed me all these pins. I'm like, dude, they make pins of horror? Like, I want to do this. And it was just amazing. I started collecting all his stuff and finally I, I got to work with him. So, you know, cheers to uh, London 188 for uh, getting me involved in all this stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to get fucking Stop wasted shaking. today. I'm sorry. That's my breakfast. Mm-hmm. And then after that, you know, I, I just started collecting and then started doing, uh, I started di- uh, doing Disney and mm-hmm. I saw how Disney was doing their things. I'm like, man, I can probably do something better. So Designer Con 2018, I was just there and some uh, one of my friends, uh, David uh, uh, Freaking Rat on, on Instagram, he was like, hey man, I want to do pins. You've been wanting to do pins. Let's do something. And I'm like, that motivated me. So 2018, so in January 2019, I started saying, you know what, let's, let's, let's go for it. And here we are, man. I don't know why I'm blowing up. I mean, I don't even have a lot of followers. Like, I had like three followers when I first started Instagram. You did. I, had it I for remember. A long time. I was People like, like Robbie. Like, Put yeah. A picture up. So then I, I started Era nineteen eighty four, and I started seeing four people five people sick I'm like my anxiety is going up like I this is too many people already like I keep my circle of friends and families right. very very specific and then it just started blowing up and I think uh meeting people in conventions and meeting people uh uh while selling um makes a really good impression mm-hmm. so you know it's just so much that you can say when you're when you're when you're online like mm. they don't know who you are you know every text every message can be taken real really weird but when you meet the person they're like oh dude that guy's fucking down right that guy's fucking awesome the same thing with you like you know you're a very pretty girl and they probably assume oh man she's not unapproachable yeah unapproachable it's just like oh she's a fucking down girl you know so i love the people interaction and stuff yeah. but i fucking hate people as well so right? it's, kinda, it's a yeah, weird yeah, dynamic yeah. that we have i think yeah. it's uh, it has to do with it, the horror community itself is actually, I just, we've, I've always felt at home with the horror community. Right. And every time that we've hung out at conventions and shows and all the weird shit that we've been to, yeah, too, we man. always convene and we always feel better when we're in the, the horror community. Yeah. But you're right. I remember when I first met you on this weird ass night when we will talk about it. Oh my goodness. Um, it was insane. <laughs> Take a shot on Fuck, that one. Dude, it still makes me drink. And I still get nervous in Pasadena when yeah. I'm in that area. <laughs> Um, when I met you, I remember asking, how do I get a hold of you? And you're like, eh, Facebook. I'm like, oh, you're old. Like, <laughs> oh my God. now I looked at your, um, your Instagram and I yeah. was like, holy shit, dude. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I, I am it. super proud of you, especially, you know, I, I got my very first pin. Yeah. Um, I think monster right before monster Palooza and yeah. I wore it to monster Palooza yeah. and my ice cream is one of my first enamel pins that I bought. Cause it's not a hobby of mine. 
but I'm actually like digging it, you know, like. Dude, I mean, I saw uh, 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 Freaking Rat had this design. He's like, look, can you check out all the designs that I have? I love to draw, I just don't have the fucking time, especially mm -hmm. being in a corporate world that mm -hmm. nobody gives a fuck about you. I'm sorry for people if you're in the corporate world, nobody gives a fuck about you. Nobody, yeah, they know no, that people, they don't give a fuck yeah, about themselves. They're just yeah. going through life like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're you're just, just going a fucking through life. number. Yeah, yeah, you're a number. So going through all that and he came up to me, he's like, look, can you see my designs? What pops out? And I'm like, that ice cream for some reason. Like, who the <laughs> fuck puts the, a crang on the ice cream? Like, I loved it. I was like, let's go with this. And we went, yeah, I went crazy on the variants. Like, let me tell you, yeah, I, you did. I, I was like, it was insane, but it was beautiful working with him. And I uh, I have to give work, uh, credit where credit's due, but he was the person who motivated me, like, let's do it. Because you need that push. Mm -hmm. No matter what you do, podcasting, mm -hmm. pins, patches, any small business, somebody had to push you in, in order oh, to do Oh, yeah, it. I know. So he, he is the one that I'll, I'll post, uh, we'll post off his, of his information because he's an amazing artist. And then I started working with a lot of artists and, you know, uh, this this company was done with a partner, which mm -hmm. is uh, uh, Vanessa. Mm -hmm. And we we were like, you know, she she has she has an idea. She was like, you know, let's get an iPad. Let's, uh, let's draw something, this and that. I'm like, okay, this is gonna take a long time. I don't have time to be fucking like drawing and right. shit. So I'm like, hey, uh, the Olive Knight, I love your work. Let's fucking collaborate. Hey, Tone Rodriguez, you worked in uh, uh, Futurama and uh, uh, The Simpsons <coughs> and Boingo Comics. Let's work something now. I started collaborating with a lot of artists and I made sure that, you know, I try to pay them as soon as possible, which a lot of people probably sometimes don't do or they do different deals. My deal was making sure that the artist gets paid and promote it as soon as possible. It's an interesting dynamic. I, you know, I often talk about where, you know, people get a lot of shade when they're like, well, it's not your own artwork. Yeah. But when you're not, I, I think it works. It's stupid on some aspects of different creatives. Yeah. But something like, the pins though i feel like it's more of a community effort you're not all about yourself you're not a selfish person by any means Thank but you. you're not so that's why i'm saying you always go okay i'm going to give this artist um credit where credit's due and i'm going to give this artist this and make sure i pay them yeah i think that's the dynamic that when you have a business i can't stop looking at her i, I, know, I, I, I really know. need her really bad yeah yeah yeah. We'll, we'll but i think it's a sure. good collaboration yeah. because then your business dynamic shows with everyone else and then everyone else wants to work with you right it's just a beautiful so kudos to you for making it work and making it look good well of course i mean like artists uh 100 we we all buy something because we we're fans of something mm -hmm. if you're a fan of uh freaking vanessa was a big fan of a uh, uh, little shop of gore mm -hmm. and we saw monster posse and we've seen creep cake show mm -hmm. up as well and we've seen the pinsies we're seeing all these uh people creating pins like there's no room to be like Oh, I'm not gonna tell you where I do my pins because right. I don't want you to succeed. I, I want, I want to be like, let's see what you come up with Ooh. because they're, they're probably gonna make stuff that they don't that I don't make. So, and I go a little bit crazy with my size. You really you know, do, and I love yeah, that. Yeah. So I'm a big guy. I want big pins. I want to show them off and stuff. Eventually, you're just gonna see me with this big old shield. You're gonna have a pin for the yeah. size of your back. Yeah, vest. exactly. That's what. So, that'd be rad. If I turn around, I'll just end up knocking somebody out and stuff. <laughs> but. You know, you, you support the business that you like. You yeah. know, you support them. I, I, you know, I love Penny and Stitches is killing it with the mm -hmm. bags right now. It's everywhere. It, it's like, ugh, like everybody fucking has it. But yeah. it's a fucking beautiful bag. And they get copied at times. And it's mm -hmm. like, nobody says, oh, I, I copied them. They motivated me. It's like, whoa, they just came out of the fucking blue with the same bag that I have. So, you know, these people have to face that stuff. When I work with artists, I make sure that wherever I'm going, or wherever I'm going, I promote them and I let them know, mm -hmm. hey, look, this this is not my design, but I collaborated. I gave uh, artistic uh, view of what I wanted because if I don't like an art, I tell you them, sorry, man, like you gotta start it. over again. Uh, artists are kind of like printers. Yeah. They, they, they'll print whatever you want, but they get stuck at times and you just need somebody, a producer to be like, well, we need it in this variant. Like, I love glitter. Ooh. I love glitter. Oh, the, I never glitter, took it for a glitter guy. Glitter and fucking glow in the dark. <laughs> I'm fucking yes. sold. Um, uh, like, for example, the, the snow blight. Yeah. It's all glow in the dark, but you see that little sparkly red. The red in there. You know, I, I put that little touch like, like, like that. And then you know, it comes out like that. And people love this variant more than anything, but I made sure that there's only 15 available. 
and they all another out. smart business practice yes, yes. i was gonna say and then just going back to what you were saying about how when people kind of mooch off of a style i was just talking mm -hmm. to my really good best friend sister mm -hmm. lover bff whatever mandy monster under your bed clothing about this the other day no one says anything they just go we know what's gonna happen yeah you know when you mooch off someone's style we know what's going to happen and the real fans of the product yeah. are going to know what's happening when somebody mooches off something else right because in any um circle of anything you're going to have shitty people right you know but i like to just say our horror community just handles it a lot fucking better than the rest of society i so. mean especially in the horror community we mm -hmm. shouldn't be against each other no. because we didn't have anybody when we grew up like who the fuck did watch uh um um, Night of the Living Dead. Who did you watch anything with? Mm -hmm. Unless your parents showed you. Uh, luckily, my dad had a video store, so I grew up with that. I'm like, whoa, what is this skull thing? Or I saw a uh, pinhead. I'm like, what mm -hmm. the hell is that? Like the artwork on the VHS right. was just amazing, and the laser disc as well. So you know, like it, it's just amazing that we're we're in a horror community and we have to support each other because mm -hmm. nobody supported us when we were uh, when right. we were small. I tell people all the time, like, fuck, I, I like. I envy these people who love Star Wars right now because they get to enjoy it. When I like Star Wars, I got beat up. The, oh my God, I had this conversation with uh, Fuck You Miguel. Uh -huh. Miguel about this conversation about how like, remember back in the day, the football jocks, yeah. the the all the jocks would talk shit on the Star Wars people. What aired from on Super Bowl fucking Sunday? <laughs> Dude. And all the football people were losing their shit. And I'm like, I'm not gonna go back in time. However, <laughs> That shit wasn't cool. Yeah. I know. Nerds got I, I, I beat blend, up. I, Comic book nerds. Yes, yes. They made a movie about the nerds. Yeah. Remember that shit? Yeah, dude. So, I, you know, I used to get beat up in my poor Star Wars shirt, and there was not a lot because Ooh. it wasn't very popular per se. Like, that's why I kind of envy Star Trek fans right now because they still have that, 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 like, uh, there's a lot of fans, but there's not, it's not blown out out of proportion yeah. like Star Wars is. So it's not marketed uh, as much. So they still own <clears throat> that. They, they own that. They Star Wars has blown up and you have this new generation loving things and you're like, fuck man, like this motherfucker needs to get his ass whooped because right? I got beat up. Like, right? And I was in the football team. Like what the fuck, man? Oh, you play football? Not, I play football, yeah. I, was I mean, we all have so our flaws. I, I was in wrestling, so yeah. That makes sense, but really, football, everyone has their flaws. It's okay. Well, I need a chick. <laughs> um, I'm just going to bring this up early. Yeah, yeah, Robbie up? is, uh, before I get into our stories, Robbie is newly single. So if Robbie is flirting with everyone, it's because he's newly single and he's ready to go. DM me, so, guys, girls, I, dick, I, I take dick pics. Can you please whatever. talk about the dick pic that you got? Dude, okay, so. <laughs> you put it on blast yeah, and you're I put single. It, I put it on blast. <laughs> And some random guy uh, messaged me. He's like, hope this makes you feel better. And he sends me a hook dick. Dude, I didn't even know dicks curved that way. What the fuck, man? I was like, is that an umbrella fucking handle? Like, what the fuck? Like, I was like, bro, you need to go and check yourself. That's too much jacking off. Like, what's going like this? No, he's like, he's like Captain Hooking it and shit. So, Robin and I love, this one of the things oh, that bro. made us connect right away is we love to fucking drink uh, mm -hmm. our lemmies. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean... I, well, I was pretty sure Moon, Mandy, Monster in Your Bed, was like, you shouldn't drink. You drink a whole bottle of wine on our podcast yesterday. I'm like, eh, this is how it's going to go, dude. Dude, I mean, <laughs> it's just how it's gonna I mean go. we can walk out and the coronavirus will fuck us up. So mine is I think cheer. this is, um, yeah. we can die any minute. Exactly. Cheers we can die. Cheers can we just wait till after the it's three It's a dead man's concert? party. Yeah, for sure. Oh, see, this is why mm -hmm. I love Robbie. Okay, so we have the story on Error. You need to tell me where the name came from, Error 1984. Error 1984, um, you know, we were looking for names for the fucking store because I'm like, oh, you know, everybody has cool ones. And, and it just so happened I named it Error 1984, which was so close to London 1988. But, you know, like I said, I I did get confused. I know. And then you have Eternal. Like, yes! Dude, Eternal 1984, dude, you're the best. People started like doing this little conflict thing. I'm like, dude, like I Settle love down. everybody. Yeah. And that guy's fucking amazing and he's really cool. We talk and we're like, we're cool, right? And we're like, yeah. So he's cool. Yeah, I met him at New York, but you know, the 1984, so like, are we all gonna gather around and fuck up Wonder Woman because now she's Wonder Woman 1984? Like what the fuck, you know? So- No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So everybody has his name. So I named it Air 1984 because uh, I used to play as Era 94 or Unknown uh, uh, 08 uh, for gaming and all that stuff for Xbox. The reason why I named it is because I feel that the firstborn is a mistake or an error. 
and I was born in 1984. Dude, I know, I know. Happens. So it's a little grim, you know. I put little things like that in there, and people are like, "What the fuck?" So you could be Air 1979. You could yeah. be Air 1991. Like you can take that name forever. Like, I love I, it. I just so happen to be Air 1984 because nobody goes on a date and says, "You know what? I want to get pregnant by this guy." You know, I mean, like nobody goes on a date and gets pregnant. Like you just get pregnant, you're like, "Fuck." All right, let's see where this happened. And then later on, you're like, okay, you know what? I think I'm going to stay with the guy. I have this. So the second motherfucker has it all. He, he's planned, but not the firstborn. I'm sorry. If you're firstborn, you're not fucking planned. No. Nobody, nobody goes out and try to get pregnant. Like, fuck that bullshit. I'm the realist. I was born. I'm a mistake. But my mom did tell me. She's like, you... You were with, you were a mistake for somebody else, but you're you're not a mistake to me. I'm like, oh, that's oh such a mom God. thing to so say. So now I gotta change my fucking name. No, like, what the fuck? Don't tell like, any. Shh. <laughs> you're still in a mistake. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I tell her that. I'm like, yeah, bullshit. Yeah, whatever. You just want the money. I didn't know that you were the oldest. I am the oldest, but I do have another oldest brother uh, uh, due to my uh, my dad. So I have a step brother, but okay. he's older. But you can't tell. Like I, you know, I just saw him right now, and he's he's an amazing guy. He's the one who brought me and learn everything about thrash metal and Ooh. like all this stuff. He's like, man, the 80s, bro, the 80s and stuff like that. And so I, I learned thrash metal. And I didn't learn anything about the 80s, uh, the, the new wave stuff until like, really, I mean, we're gonna bring up Vanessa a lot, so I really apologize. She's a you know? huge, huge part she's of a very, our dynamic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Like she's Tremendous, part of it, yeah. So no, no ill will, I, I wish her nothing but the best and she's a sweetheart. Yeah, she's she a really is, sweetheart. and bitch can fight. Bitch can, <laughs> bitch can drink too. Hey, and I she can that. fucking drink. Yeah, yeah. I cheer to that shit. Uh -huh. She was about I to miss her. Her. Yeah, she used to put that shit away. Mm -hmm. But um, she showed me the new wave of stuff. She's like, listen to this. Yeah, I started listening to The Cure. I'm like, oh, I feel like cutting myself now. You know, like, you know, like. Oh Why do we God. listen to The Cure Why? when we're sad? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, no, I, I feel. <laughs> well, remember we went to um, we went to a Killers tribute show. Yeah. And you were all pissed because you thought Chuck was gonna show up. And so it was just me, you, and Vanessa, and we're at the Killers oh, tribute. Shit. You took it like a G because you never got into the Killers, huh? The, like the Killers is her is her thing, you know. Like you you, when you're in a relationship, you you have to take bullets. And when I went to <laughs> when I when I take when I went to the <laughs> see this was a sad part because Jeff Hanneman from Slayer and you know rest in peace uh, rest in peace to Jeff Hanneman from Slayer. Could he passed more. He he passed. Yeah, we're gonna fucking be drinking Ooh. these lemmies. <laughs> he he passed away. And then we had these tickets, and she had a broken foot. Oh, yeah, I remember the so story. We didn't, we, we yeah. went to the great, uh, not the Great Western Forum, but the one in LA before they tore it down. Um, it was the Coliseum, wasn't the it? The Coliseum, yeah. yeah. So we went there to sell the tickets. So we're like fucking crackers, like, tickets, <laughs> tickets to the killer. <laughs> but we have bomb ass tickets. We have floor tickets. What? So we have floor tickets. Yeah, I felt so bad because she wanted to go to the killer concert. And then uh, uh, there was a scalper. He's like, tickets, handicapped tickets. And I'm like, <gasps> Handicap, but this is handicap right now. Yeah. I'm like, come over here for a second. I'm like, do you want to trade? He's like, no, bro. This is this is weird. I'm like, fuck you. You're weird for selling shit. Handicap <laughs> tickets right now. I'm giving you floor tickets. You're gonna end up selling it even more. He goes. Okay, and we trade. I'm like, Vanessa, we can go to the show. She's like, no way. And we got a EMT to wheel her ass in. That is epic. And then the EMT took her to the bar, and we didn't have to win in line. And she had two beers like this. So she's like, with her fucking foot up. And she's like, yay. And we went to a special <laughs> play, and we watched The Killers. The Killers were fucking amazing. Let They're me tell amazing you. Oh live. I goodness. saw them four times back oh, in the day. They, they were amazing. They put a good show. But I'm like, I'm crying because I'm like, this is a good show. And I'm crying because like, fucking Jeff passed away. Fuck, man. <laughs> Slayer for life. You get yeah. emotional. So yeah, I, I, I get emotional. Yeah, yeah, of course. So any ladies out there, I get emotional. I watch, I haven't watched The Notebook, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to cry my Please, ass out. You don't want a girl that watches The Notebook. <laughs> you don't want one of those. Because the, we're reserving off. those for Miguel. Dude, you brought Miguel. I'm like, I'll take that motherfucker I didn't bring Miguel. Too. Miguel's always here. <laughs> no, he is. And I'm always trying to get him here. But he knows where his place is in the world. Because your fan knows who Miguel is. I'm they're they're going to find out. Oh, okay. I, I feel like he's going to be making special appearances yeah, all yeah, yeah. the time. Yeah. They brought, they brought this sexy ass motherfucker in here. It makes me look like shit. I'm like. Shut up. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a rude wreck. Help me. <laughs> Stop it. Now, speaking of music, mm. I want to talk about Three Teeth. I remember last year I was like bragging mm. about Three Teeth. Uh -huh. And you and Vanessa went home and listened. I said, you guys have homework. It was after Monster Palooza. Yeah. The after party. And what did you think of Three Teeth? 
Uh, <laughs> okay, fuck. Uh, it was, it was, it was good. I mean, we did it because I love you. you I know. know we listen, thank but you. We're like, you know, it's like it's like telling somebody, hey, listen, ICP. They'll be like, yeah, that's cool. You know, like I mean, it's not gonna happen. Are you coming you know? to the show next week? If you invite me, I did invite you. Oh fuck. Oh, well, I'm fucking busy. I mean, you saw I was with Jack Black yesterday, so. What okay, the fuck? so you gotta uh, bring that up. Go. <laughs> Go. I'm sorry. I'm already like, ah, I'm so excited. I'm just antsy. I can't wait to share all of our stories. All right. Yeah, yeah. So Jack Black. <laughs> uh, Jack Black is uh, is an awesome guy. He's one of us. He's he's just down to earth. Like, if you love me, you're going to love him. Except he's, oh, yeah. he's sexier. So uh, we uh, we met at DesignerCon for a little bit. And then we've been talking in the background. And I can't mention a lot of stuff that we talk about. And then, you know, um, he asked, like, where you want to meet like there's a lot of stuff because he wants to turn vegan and uh now that uh i'm working for a company called mad monster i thought this was a really good opportunity thank you mad monster i fucking love you to death um th i thought this was a really good opportunity to talk to him about veganism and all that stuff i did as a respect for mad monster but not only that uh, uh the guy who runs it which is evan he told me would you eat your dog i'm like Fuck. so i take it evan is vegan Evan is vegan. Okay. My monster is vegan. We're, uh, it's it's there, so I I have to follow suit because I I also want to look good, dude. You're gonna you bring look your, dude. You, you're gonna bring Miguel. Uh, Miguel, right? Is yes. Miguel? Yeah. Fuck you, Miguel. Dude, this motherfucker is sexy as fuck. I, I, and, and, and they bring him here, so I look like shit. So we'll do a year. We're we're gonna come back in the year. And I'm gonna have a six pack, and <laughs> take me. Miguel doesn't have a six pack. Oh. <laughs> Well, he looks better than me. I have a, I have a fucking keg. I have a keg. That's what I should have worn today was the shirt that said eyeliner on point, don't mind the beer belly. Yeah, no, no, no. You don't have So kegs. Jack Black vegan, huh? But here's my he's, thing. Who's cooking for him? Do you know uh, how no, hard no, no. it is I mean, to he's, cook? It's hard for him. Like, he's he's not like vegan. He's like, he's having a hard time. And, you know, like, um, there's, there's stuff in the background for sure. So I'm working with pins. I'm doing okay. patches and all that stuff. So he's a really cool guy. He's a big... Uh, uh, designer con fan he loves toys and stuff so he's a really cool guy and, and like I said like I'm is era nineteen four is just gonna go through the top I mean I don't have a lot of followers I don't really give a fuck about that shit I'm very handicapped right now because Facebook blocked my uh, <gasps> website so you can't even post Why? Aaron, I don't know man I don't what know what is with these platforms Dude, what is going yeah, on yeah. Instagram likes to shadow ban yes. uh, Facebook likes to so you know what <laughs> It's, I take it as a challenge. I, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep moving forward Ooh. and do all my shit. So even Mad Monster, they couldn't even uh, announce me like uh, that. They, uh, Era 1984 has been taken over by Mad Monster because they can't post shit. They're like, dude, I can't post anything. I'm like, yeah, I've been blocked from Facebook. So Facebook, go fuck yourself. It, I, it's we're never like, gonna be stopped. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna keep we'll going. We'll find our way. Dude, yes. it's like Michael Scott Paper Company. Like, I'm gonna come back. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. So they were trying to take down Sex and Monsters, yeah. and they've been banned like five times. What do they do? He just celebrates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he offers a sale. You know, there yeah. is a, when we when we were when we're ready to go, we're gonna fucking go. Yeah, exactly. But that's crazy. It's insane. They even Mandy has the happiest stuff. They yeah. did the same thing to her. Yeah, exactly. I know I keep bringing up Mandy. It's just because I'm fresh off of our Moon Cycle podcast. And I'm uh keep bringing up Vanessa because I'm fresh off of uh, a relationship. <laughs> so <laughs> this is you know you know this. God you know damn this. it. Yeah. Make it awkward. Si sabes como me pongo porque me porque me invitan. Like if you bring if you know how I get, why the fuck do you invite me? So oh. cheers to that. That yeah. is sick. what did that say? What did you oh, mean? Uh, uh, if you Please know speak how I, more Spanish. Oh why? Hey. I love Spanish. <laughs> I want to speak it but I have like the whitest accent ever. Error 1984. That's uh, era, era 1984. 1984. That I got. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, I understand some, but I yeah. can't speak it because I, I sound gringa. See, well, as fuck. We're, and I can't roll my R's. We're in Rancho Cucamonga. I don't really want to speak too much Spanish. Yeah, you'll because, get pulled over. No, uh, ice is somewhere. Ice, ice is somewhere. Ice, ice is fucking somewhere. <laughs> they, in this neighborhood, yeah, yeah. we're up, known as the Satanists in the neighborhood. In the like, fucked up part, I'll get kicked out to the wrong country. I'm like, I'm not even Mexican. What are you doing? I'll send you to El yeah. Salvador. Well, I have, uh, my mom's from El Salvador. My oh, dad's Peru. But they'll send me to Mexico because it's cheaper. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I'm going to get shot, man. <laughs> Oh fuck my you God! Ice. Yeah, fuck you, eyes. Fuck you, you, Trump, you, you cheap motherfucker. <laughs> Send me to the right destination. Bitch. At least, dude, yeah. that's insane. They're, okay. They look at my ID at, at, the, at the airport. They're like Roberto. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's Robert. Robert. It's Robert. Please, like, Roberto. No, yeah, yeah, Rober yeah, Roberto's gonna kick me out. <laughs> I'm yeah. not sure how much time we have, but let's do one of our stories really quick. Okay, what's up? So I think the first story takes too long. Okay, so we're going to take a little break before we get okay, into cool. our 
epic fucking stories that yeah, we yeah. have to share with you. Yeah, yeah. Such so many good times. We're gonna have a little break. I'm sweating. We need a refill too. And so. we need another lemmy. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. guzzle. Yeah. And we'll be right. All right, we're back. And legit, I'm having the time of my life with this motherfucker once again. We're sharing, reminiscing over some of our favorite fucking stories. One of many. I want to also remind everyone that Robbie is newly single. His heart is broken, but he's also ready to mingle. And I brought my favorite bitch boy, fuck you, Miguel, to console Robbie. And this is the famous Miguel, everyone. Motherfucker's cute. He isn't he cute? He wears gray sweatpants. He is my cheers, one of my favorite. Cheers to Miguel, cheers to Miguel yeah. dude. Mm -hmm. So Robbie, we were just reminiscing on one of our favorite fucking stories of all time. Yeah. And <laughs> I don't even know which one should we start with. What is your favorite story with Michelle Halloween? And of course, you can bring Chuck into it because he he's part of our stories. Oh God, yeah. But we are gonna have we have at least three stories that we have to get through. So you have ten minutes on each story. So at least of the three main stories of our epic adventures together, you're gonna want to hang out with us after this. Yeah, exactly. We may not let you though because oh, yeah. we're kind of picky. Yeah, exactly. So I think the first one we should go with Southern Monster Palooza in Burbank. Night 2016. Oh, thank God that you know. I remember that because I reflect on that shit when I'm sad. Dude, I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm, fucking, I'm fucking sad all the time. Oh. So no, no, I'm sorry. Can you keep us on? Oh, come on, I'm Miguel. Up, Say something in Spanish to him. <laughs> you don't have to say anything. Your beauty says it. <laughs> he should have. Next time he's wearing gray sweatpants for oh, us. Yeah. All right, or 2016. No or no pants. Or no pants. 2016. So 2016, we're at Southern Monster Everything is done. Wait, 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 wait. No, it wasn't done. Why did we go there in the first place? We wanted to see what's his name from Lost Boys with the saxophone, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. You guys got a suite. You and Vanessa got a suite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a suite and everything. We were fucking starving. Like, no matter we were what, hungry. We were yeah. hungry as fuck. And we were drunk. And we're high. Like, we're like, dude, what the fuck do we want to eat? We're kind of we're drunk, we're high, we're everything. Where do we go? We go to Del Taco. It's right there. This is so after we partied. After everything. We had such a good night. Exactly. So we go, we're e eating and stuff, we're just talking about random shit. Like always, having a good time. When we leave, me and Chuck are like on the side, you know, we're just observing our beautiful girls and shit. We have Vanessa and we have uh, Michelle. We're just like, me and Chuck, you know, I love Chuck. He's my real dog. And, and we don't have to say much, but we say enough to be like, he's my, my homie. So we're just walking around and this fucking truck is, is, is parking in their parking lot. To the left, please. And then he, he's like, he's like, go home, bitches. I don't even remember this. Even bitch, like bitches. Bitches. So this motherfucker has an accent. So he's not even from here. That's so, racist. No, bitch, I'm fucking not from here. Well, it's from not here. allowed. Well, is ice around, bitch? Uh, I don't know. We're, 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 I don't call them. Right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, so fucking, he turns around to the right. I'm like, bitch, do you not, bitch, do you not know that we're going to the same place you are? So he's there, and Chuck is fucking furious, and he's going like a fucking. Raging bull. I like. I got the motherfuckers back. Don't worry about it. So we go, and Chuck is like, "Get the fuck out of the truck!" And he gets out of this truck. Is this little motherfucker, Puerto Rican guy or whatever the fuck? And he's like, and he's like squirming and shit. And Chuck just wails at him. And I, I, you know, I'm not the type to jump in. Like I'm not that old school and shit. I like to observe. I'm like, you know, Chuck, Chuck can handle that shit. I'll, I'll watch. I like watching it. No matter what. Even more, I just, just. I'm in the corner watching. So, fucking Chuck is winning this guy. I'm like, handle your shit, man. Handle, handle for both our girls and shit. Yeah, man, you're the, you're the best. You're the man. And this motherfucker wiggles to the right, please. And then he wiggles. <laughs> he wiggles. And it gets out and starts wailing at him. I'm like, no, 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 no. Nobody wails on fucking Chuck. No. So I went up to him and I went to this fucking Puerto Rican food and I fucking. Like, I, I had him, like, on a choke. I'm like, go to sleep, little birdie. Go to sleep. And he's like, ah, oh, man, oh, man. Is that what he said? He's like, oh, man. And then, what, I, what I felt so bad about is that his girl came up. And she's like, no, no, he's, stu he's stupid. He's stupid. And I'm like, dude, you know what? I'm stupid, too. If I was in that same situation, Robbie. Vanessa would have been like, he's a fucking dumb. Wait, wait, wait. Alone. But didn't Vanessa just basically throw this girl? Out of the way at some yeah, point. But this is down for shit. And, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, her, 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 that bitch is down for her she'll shit. She'll fuck so, you up, yeah, dude. Yeah, you better watch it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
sure. I need Vanessa around yeah, a little bit more, dude. I need Vanessa all the time, but, dude, <laughs> yeah, but anyways, yeah, like, she, da- she was down for herself. She's like, shut the fuck up, bitch, or whatever. It was a fucking crazy night. We let them go. Nobody called the police. They knew that we weren't starting shit because we just came from the convention. So that was a crazy night. And we went back upstairs and we started drinking. And it, was it was epic. Was epic I, and let me interject a little because what happened was, I, it was one of those nights where Chuck, the camera guy for the Spooky Squad, amongst other things, the man I'm married to, he fucking doesn't like being in the spotlight at all. So the fact that the, before we even got there and started drinking, he was having fun. He was in Danielle's back seat, like dancing the Fra- Frankie Goes to Hollywood. And I'm like, why is he having fun? Like, sweet, like good. He was listening to the rhythm coffin and he's like, yeah, it's so much fun. Yeah. He was having a good old fucking night. So to end it, but, but the funniest thing is what you guys missed as the next day is that he had his knees were bloody, his shirt got ripped. I just bought him that fucking shirt. It got ripped. Danielle replaced it for defending our honor. But the funnest, funniest fucking shit is we, the next day he wakes up and he's like sore. He's like, I still got it, babe. (laughs) How's it going, Miguel? How are you doing over there? Oh, that's good job. Purple? Um, so another one of our, so that's one of the stories that every time we are together yeah. and we're talking to someone new, like Satanic Jacula, in fact, yeah, yeah. you mentioned, let me tell you the story about Chuck. Chuck likes to fuck. Oh yeah. But yeah, that is not the first night that we met. Yeah, yeah. The night that I met Robbie, <laughs> it was insane. And yes, I am putting a friend on blast. I'm not going to say who she is, but I am going to put someone on blast. If you know me, you've heard this story multiple times because it was fucking traumatizing. But beautiful friendships came out of it. So we're in Pasadena one night and we meet you and Vanessa for the first time and you and Chuck hit it off instantly. And that's when I know there's a friendship. Somebody was pissing him off. Well, the the thing that happened is that, and I know it happens in every relationship, especially when you have somebody beautiful as yourself. Chuck must must deal with a lot of bullshit at times. He doesn't deal with nothing. No, he deals with a lot of bullshit. Like some people just get out of <laughs> from me. Yeah, some people don't get out of order and stuff. But I mean, they they, they do. So my, some people might act in a different way, or they might touch. But whatever. So when I met Chuck, Chuck was really cool, but he just said, "Hey, what's up?" And that's it. I said, "Yeah, hey, yeah." What's up? I didn't know him. Like I'm I'm territorial too, so I'm like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" Too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he he said the same thing. This drunk guy, dude, they do a great job. So this guy <laughs> comes up drunk as fuck. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. He looked like Fred oh, Durst from Lip yeah, Biscuit. Yeah, exactly. Mandy. Nobody was into the noogie that night and shit. <laughs> and, then, and then he goes up to Chuck from all people. Like, the guy looks like he's about to sock anybody. That's not even talking. Who, Chuck? Yeah, Chuck. Yeah, he always looks like he yeah, wants to hit somebody. Yeah, he wants to hit somebody. <laughs> so, so Chuck is there, and then uh, <laughs> Chuck is there, and then... And then we didn't even communicate. Oh, 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 he speaks! He speaks! I really do look forward to hitting him. Yes, exactly. I, I'm a, dude, You're not very And well I fucking love you for that. You know I love you for he that. He spoke! Yeah, you know, he spoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the unspoken, unspoken. Look, so, yeah, uh, Chuck was there, and he was like, this guy is pissing me off. We locked eyes. Like, if we're fucking falling in love for the first time. Sorry, person. Miguel. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, you're yeah, another fighter. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a fighter, not a lover anymore. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> he looks at me, and I look at him. We don't even have to talk. We already know. I got your back. You got my back. And this fucker was lucky that he left or his girl pulled him aside. And that's the moment that me and Chuck fell in love as a as a bro bromance. 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 Like, he knew love at first sight. Love at first sight. Exactly. <laughs> he knew I had his motherfucking back no matter what. Ride or die. Ride or die. And I think and the whole relationship that night between yeah. the four of us yeah, yeah, yeah. improved that night because that was just the beginning of that night. Exactly. We got in line for this event at the Wolf's whatever the fuck it's called in Pasadena. Yeah. Another funny tidbit about that story was that Sammy Maurice was vending at that show years before I had met him. So interesting. It's crazy. So before we even get into this venue that we're supposed to go watch a Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands or something mashup. And we're already drunk in line because the line was like two hours long to get in. One of our friends had too much to drink in the line. Therefore, Vanessa and I girl coded and tried to take care of her but she basically manhandled the fuck out of us 
in the bathroom, before we even got to the show, we just figured, oh, she needs to throw up, whatever. She did not need to throw up. She manhandled me and Vanessa and just fucking rolled under the bathroom stall and bounced, right? We spent, go for it. How many hours do you think we spent looking for her in, okay. da- in fucking Pasadena in the okay. middle of the night? First of all, yeah, it was. I feel like it, this was downplayed a lot, but it was true terror. Not, when not only that, this fucking girl <clears throat> decides to yell out my name like, "Where's Robert? Where's Robbie? Where's Robbie?" I'm like, "Bitch, I, I don't, bitch, 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 I don't even know you like that. Don't be yelling my name like Vanessa's there, dude. I have major respect for Vanessa. Yeah, I don't put myself out like that. Or anybody. who is yelling your name? Well, the person, the person the okay. Person in, in question right now, and she fucking left, dude. She fucking she left. manhandled me and Vanessa, dude, oh, in the bathroom. She just like pushed it. She was like, it was like, boom, boom, and she ran into the bathroom stall. Uh, fucking strength. Yeah, dude, it happened. Yeah. This happened. This is a true yeah. life story. So she fucking got lost, and you know she's a chick, and we're worried because we were know, terrified. Yeah. We were looking in dumpsters. We were looking in ditches. Yeah, that's we w- and then finally we went to the cops yeah. and the whole point of this story was this again this is the night that i met robbie mm-hmm. we came together as a team yeah. to find our friend which she ended up being found and it was like the stupidest thing ever but i still have like ptsd going to that area yeah, yeah. in pasadena because we were just there at a, a sammy gig one of sammy's gigs yeah. and it was at that same place and i'm like thinking oh my god we're sitting here eating in the alley where she like disappeared it was awful don't do that shit to your friends, you guys. It was really terrifying. If you don't know how to drink, don't drink. Don't do it. Because it hurts so much. Because we were, and we're trying to we have fun. Were, dude, we were trying. Oh, sorry. To, Fuck. We were, we were legit having fun, and we were cool. And if you if you know you can't drink, like, I can't drink liquor, man. Like, uh, when we're drinking here, because it's a, a good It's a safe event. spot. But if you don't know how to drink, do not put your friends in that situation, because it's so... Oh, Lord, please. Uh, it's, oh, it's what? Fun, oh, unholy Lord. No, lo- Lord. Oh, lower. Yeah, he's, he's it's your accent. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please do not bring ice. We were just talking about that. We're in Rancho Cucamonga, and she's like, you want to use Robert or Roberto? Please use Robert. Please. I'm just saying I'm, Robbie. I'm going to get kicked out. We'll escort you to the freeway. No, that's fucked up. And the problem is they kicked me out to the wrong country. I'm not Mexican, dude. No fucking... I'm like, what is this world? How did I get here? I don't even like living here, homie. Oh, my God. So then our next story. This one is one of my favorites. After Monster Palooza, after the fight incidents, we were all like, we have to convene again. We have to convene again. So we decided to spend a fortune on front of the line tickets to Universal Studios. And I have to say, this is, again, one of my favorite nights with you, Robbie, because you introduced Chuck to edibles that night. Chocolate-covered blueberries, dude. <laughs> and I feel like we should put clips of that night yeah, on yeah. on this podcast. I'll, I'll, I'll find all the pictures. And all because that. Robbie had a tin of edibles, uh, chocolate-covered blueberries, and we were, like, terrified. How are we going to get in? Yeah. Uh, if Universal gets mad at us, we, we probably won't come to your park anyways. You so, cost too much. So the thing, the thing that happened in Universal Studio <laughs> is that I wear this vest wherever I go. And shoot. Yeah, yeah. And the thing that is, is true. This is an old school vest, so these things have patches, but they have little pockets. So people are like, "Bro, I love your vest. I love this, man. I'm into Freddy." I'm like, oh, "Thank you very much, but they don't know I'm packing weed. I'm packing edibles. <laughs> this is my old school method. Of, this is my tampon version of a vest. You know, like I carry my liquor and all that shit, so I can carry everything here." So I'm like, thank you guys, thank you. And they're like, don't worry, don't worry about the uh, metal detector. You can go in. I'm like, oh. Yeah, they let him in with no yeah, problem. No after, problem. And we were already drunk, too, because yeah, we were we're drinking drunk. shots. We were yeah, having exactly. a good old time. I'm walking around with my VIP going, <laughs> I have VIP front line, motherfuckers. You know how much money I spent on these tickets? Yeah. So we're going through the, so Chuck had, how many blueberries do you think that night? Okay, so <laughs> I, I, I don't know my limit because I don't know if it's a fat thing or something, but it doesn't hit me. So I'm like, blah, blah, blah. well, Chuck like, was eating a whole bunch. Chuck was like, these are good fucking chocolate little dumplings, things like this small. So we're eating, we're all fucking thing. Dude, I have a, a fucking Snapchat You have video. a picture of this. I, know, I have a video of Snapchat and we're the fucking tram going to the fucking I think that's when it hit him, too. Fucking, Chuck is like... <laughs> He's like this. He had this smile on his face. Yeah. And me and the girls were drunk. Yeah, yeah. The girls were drunk, the guys were high. And we're fucking out of it, Logan. And then uh, <laughs> he's fucking gone. Like, I'm like... The whole Chuck. night... Dude, I don't remember the night. Like, I ended up in fucking... I'm like, where the fuck am I? They're like, I didn't even know what, what I did. I don't know nothing. You too? Yeah, I was fucking... Oh, I'm pissed because literally, like, we were going through this whole maze. I, I remember Vanessa... I remember being drunk. 
I was the only one who didn't call off work the next day or like schedule my day off. You guys all were smart because it was Sunday. And I'm I remember, not, not, no, I'm not, I'm yeah, not. Vanessa, we're going down the escalator and Vanessa's hair was in front of her face. Oh, isn't she and beautiful? she was like, oh my God. I'm wasted. But she handled that shit like a G. She's like, we're still getting on rides. We went through all the mazes. But here's yeah. Chuck. Chuck went through everything. And he was just like this the whole time. <laughs> we're definitely he calling you. He was so high. Was but no, here's the <laughs> kicker. We had a great night. Nobody like no. got lost. Nope. But the next year, we were at Midsummer Scream. Chuck and I are watching a panel. We're watching the Dark Harbor panel. This is the night that we um, partied in the room. And Chuck was like, we're at the Dark Harbor, or no, we were at Universal Studios panel. And Chuck's looking at like a program. He's like, Michelle, I'm like, what? He goes, dude, did you know there's an American Horror Story maze? And I'm all, motherfucker, we went through that shit last year. He doesn't even remember. He was like, there was a Krampus maze. There was all these mazes, dude. And he's like, I don't remember any of that. And I'm like, do you know how much money we spent on those fucking tickets? If you're around Vanessa, you gotta watch out. She's bougie as fuck. She likes <laughs> VIP shit. VIP. She wants, the Pixies. Yeah, she wants, oh my God. Yeah, whoever's with her right now, the I feel sorry for her because your fucking bank account is gonna go to zero. Because she looks like a bougie ass motherfucker. So she likes VIP stuff. She wants. I, mean, I can't get her in a pit for the life of me. Ah, uh, well, it's because I'm not there. That's why. So, <laughs> <laughs> cheers to that bitch. <laughs> Fuck, I'm sorry. The lemmies are hitting right now. <laughs> Do you want a croissant? No. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I need more jack. I want a cheeseburger. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm going to take Miguel home right now. Fuck. <laughs> I think Miguel needs a croissant. Yeah. I mean, Chuck is here. But dude, I have so many bitch boys. No, I love it. Nobody remembers that night. Like it's. Funny I remember that night. Don't remember you don't remember that night either. So Chuck, that's a revelation that you were not the only one who spent a thousand dollars on fucking front of the line passes and didn't remember it. Well, my friend. Um, you were really quiet that night. Then now that I'm thinking about it. I was. Well, you I'm were quiet. quiet. Yeah. Yeah. You know wrong yeah the quiet. guys were quiet that night. Yeah. I lost. I lost my voice. I lost my voice a couple of days ago. Can you get my croissant? You no, it's your croissant now. Oh, we're speaking French now. Okay, now Miguel needs a croissant. Miguel single? Please, like, oh my God. Also, also, these two handsome studs are single and ready to mingle. Miguel would love a goth, a big titty goth. But I've known Miguel long enough, he can't have me. Uh, but he is available. Robbie's available. I'm not editing that. Oh. We're getting served croissants. We oui, wee, oui, sexy bastard. Thank you. Um, Party. I, I am I am available for sure, but I'm not available. I'm really focused on Aaron K4 and everything that's doing right now. I have no followers. If you want to follow me, you right have next, followers. Dude, uh, you know, I love the people because those are the people that I fucking shook hands with and everything. So I love them. Oh, people. you know, let's talk about taco punks. <laughs> First of all, tacos is get me to anything. Mm -hmm. I will, as long as there's tacos involved, I'll be there. Punk okay. music, yeah. mosh pit. So, taco punk. I don't have to worry about being a person of color because you're there. Punk? Oh my god, you're fucking sexy. We got so <laughs> punk. Is, um, you know, punk is like, it's it's a beautiful thing because you're against the establishment mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And people think it's dead. It's not. No, it Ta isn't. Taco Fest brings taco because everybody loves taco. For sure. And all these punk groups around uh, around the LA area are fucking doing this shit. And it's such a beautiful event. And I'm so pleased. Yesterday, I was inducted into the family. So they said <gasps> you have... You have a booth with us a hundred percent, no matter what, and that, that that really means a lot of, a, a lot to me because I'm trying my best, girl. Like you know, Facebook doesn't promote me at all. Instagram it's... has me on lockdown. I'm 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 struggling, bro. Like I, there's a reason why I, I haven't cracked a thousand likes, but I'm doing shit. Like I'm doing shit. With oh, that you part. will now. And I, uh, there's another thing that I'm gonna mention right now. I, I'm working. Are you allowed to? I'm not allowed to. You know what? Don't do it! The, the Don't do it! Doyle, Doyle, we're gonna be pretty soon. Um, and King Hotter as well. We're doing the pin with him, so. Doyle and King fucking Hotter? 
Don't no. ruin your opportunity. They're not gonna watch my. I only um, have three followers. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's my tagline. <laughs> That's my tagline. You're killing the game right now because you're showing a side. My boobs. The boobs is a. Uh, you know what? <laughs> she brought it up. I'm sorry, Trump, but you know what? Yes, the boobs. Okay, yeah. no, no, you know what? It's a gimmick. Uh, it's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. I mean, you're fucking. Uh, you're 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 a star, but you know what? You've always been a star to me. Oh, you, this thing is fun. You know, I don't get like white girl wasted. You you always been amazing. You've been, been nice. The thing that you're doing right now is awesome because you're giving suburbia a look at <laughs> what what it is to do what you do and shit. Like people, you're doing a great job, man. You're fucking sexy as fuck. So you're you're showing these people like what it is to be living in Rancho Cucamonga because yeah, everybody's uptight here and shit. I was gonna post around here. And I was gonna post around like do it. Uh, do you need services? Do you want uh, Air 94 to fuck you? Uh, uh, like. You want to cheat on your husband or whatever? You always gonna post everywhere. Do you know? Here. Honestly, yeah. I really think in these kind of neighborhoods, mm -hmm. that shit goes down all the time. Call me. Do Don't that. call me. No, call me. I, I have no interest. Message me, Aaron. Nineteen four. If you're a fucking elf, I don't want your kids. I just want a milk. How about a Karen? Who the hell is that? You know the ones that call the managers? Uh, no. They'll, you don't want a Karen? No, they'll, call fuck, the they'll report me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying right now because yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I love fucking. Well, this is. Do you see what the appeal is? Yeah. These are our conversations. These yeah. are the things that we've been talking about for the last four years that yeah. we've known each other. This, we talk. We talk so much shit. And so much yeah, shit. So much shit. So yeah, much shit. You guys really do not know me and shit. Like you guys know the professional side of me, but get me a few drinks in. Dude, I'll fucking tell you. I'll buy be fuck. Robbie some lemmies. Yeah. yeah, buy me lemmies and shit. So the girls who are out there, if you are interested, <laughs> dude, I just need a friendship right now. Like, DM me. DM me. The guys, please keep it simple with the fucking dick pics. If like, you have a hook leaner. You know, like, I, I, I've been getting dick pics. And I'm just like, dude, relax. I don't even get dick pics. Dude, I get dick pics. I'm glad I don't. Please I don't send pics. me your dick. Don't. Please don't. I, mean, I will fucking put you on blast. <laughs> That's fucked up. They're, they're showing you intimate moments. I'm good, shit. dude. I'd dude. rather see boobies. No. Oh, yeah, of course. Dude, who doesn't love tits? Boobies. Oh, my God. I don't have any more, but cheers to tits. Cheers to... The horror that? family has the best tits and shit. Right? But, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Right? Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. I fucking love horror chicks and shit. Definitely. That's why Miguel wants to be a part of... Uh, we have five minutes. That's why Miguel... I'm sorry. I'm, no, no, you're am fine. I supposed to announce that? Yeah. Five minutes. The, I just want to also point out really quick again, you, I got hit up by so many people to mm -hmm. do a podcast. Yeah. If you are any way, shape, or form going, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. I just want to remind you, you asked for it. Yeah, exactly. Um, number two, what was I talking about? Um, uh, we were talking about Miguel. Yeah. Oh, Miguel is fucking single, dude. Look, he's Look massaging me the guys. whole fucking segment. If you don't want this shit, Leave Did it. I mention uh, that Miguel is also a bartender and he goes on coffee dates? He uh, wakes up at 5:30 in the morning. If he's a morning. bartender, where the fuck is he my He works drink? out. He wears gray sweatpants. He goes on coffee dates at six o'clock in the morning. That's the last up. time I tried to, Miguel was like, "Hey, we're supposed to go for coffee." Yeah. I was like, "Dude, I'm still in bed." He's like, "Really?" <laughs> I, I I worked all night. What's your excuse? All you witches are in bed all the time. Well, I thought I, I thought when coming here, I thought you know it's just gonna be me. That's not, Check my house is always full of people. Dude, you bring Miguel, sexy ass motherfucker. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, I look like shit now. Like, no girl is gonna wanna fucking message me and shit. So, it, it is what no, it is. No, the, the, gay sex is sexy. <laughs> you, know what, you know what gay sex would be, dude? <laughs> You're fucking stupid. Dude. I love it. Well, listen, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm gonna pull the plug. I don't want to pull the plug, but Whoa. this Michelle Halloween episode has to end. Yeah. I need Robbie back. We're gonna document some more party episodes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Air 1984. Follow this motherfucker. Hit up Instagram. Yeah. We love you. Really quick. Do this. Quick. 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 Okay. Uh, the Olive Knight is one of my artists. Fucking Rad is one of my artists. Uh, Tom Rodriguez is one of my artists. People who motivated me. London 1988. Monster, uh, uh, Monster Posse, the Pinsies, Creep, uh, Creep Show, 
Uh, creep dude, show. I mean, uh, creepy cake. So, dude, they're the fucking... Generous. Creep cake! Creep cake, dude. I fucking love you guys. Uh, Grilla Mom, I'm also <gasps> with them. Yeah. I need a burger. Yeah, I need a fucking burger, too. But I love you guys. Dude, you're doing a wonderful job. I fucking love you. Vanessa, I respect you. We fucking love miss you. Miss you, bitch! Dude, next, yeah, we miss you fucking bitch. Bish. <laughs> yeah, take care of yourself. Yeah. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween, for sure. Shut the fuck up! <laughs>